Now let's move on to the third process, which everybody of us know. It's called conversion. 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 We just convert one word into another word. Let's take the example of a word called work. W O R K. Work. Work is a word which means I do work, and work is also a word which means work only. So work at a time is a verb as well as an as a noun. There are plenty of words in English which act as a noun as well as a verb. Now this noun functioning as verb, verb functioning as noun. Initially there was a verb, then it was accepted as a noun. That becomes process of conversion because verb converts into noun, noun converts into verb, adjective converts into preposition, something like that. So this kind of process is called conversion. So we have four categories which we'll speak about. Verb to noun conversion. Now what happens in the process of verb to noun conversion? Verbs are converted into nouns. Verb, the grammatical form verb is converted into the grammatical form noun. For example, doubt. Initially, it was a verb, I doubt. But now, this is my doubt. Now, this has become a noun. Love was a verb initially when you used I love you. Now you say my love is like a red, red rose. Right. So love becomes noun here. Laugh. I laugh. But laugh has also become a noun. Catch is was actually a verb but converted into a noun catch cheat was act as also actually a verb now converted into a noun wrap turn retreat work stand these are all the examples which were initially verbs and later converted into nouns now let's look at the second category that is of adjective to noun conversion in the process of adjective to noun conversion adjectives get converted into nouns this is the process in which adjectives get converted into nouns. Now, another type is noun converting into verbs. Noun to verb conversion. The process in which nouns convert into verbs is called noun to verb conversion. In this process, nouns get converted into verbs. See the examples. Bottle, comma, skin, knife, nurse, cripple, Male. These were initially the nouns, but are now being used as the verbs. Bottle. I mailed him a letter. So these are now these are these are now being used as the verbs. Initially they were nouns, but are now used as the verbs. So this is the conversion of nouns into verbs. This is another kind of conversion. And adjectives converting into verbs. The next is the adjectives converting into verbs in this process. It's a simple enough. Adjectives get converted into verbs. Examples are calm, dry, empty. Empty it. Empty is an adjective, in fact. But then we say that empty this bottle. Right. So this is the conversion of adjectives into verbs. Let's move on to the next process of word formation called back formation. We actually uh, form a word. I mean, imaginary suffix is clipped I and mean, initially there was a larger word we consider that this was a suffix and clip it and form a new word so back it comes back as it comes back this process is called the process of back formation you will understand it with the help of example very simple for example a very common example is in English there was a word editor Editor. Now, editor was the basic word. There was no suffix to it. They imagined that OR is the suffix and deleted it and taken the earlier word, back word that was back of OR and made it edit. Oh my God. So that becomes the process of, process of back formation. The similar is the case with televised. The word television was edited to televised. See next example of babysit. Babysit wasn't their word initially. It was actually a babysitter word. They removed er as an imaginary suffix and make it made it babysit. Accreditation was the initial word that when it entered, but they removed imaginary shun and made it accreditate into the verb. And there was also a word called double gazer in which they have deleted er as an imaginary suffix and made the double gazer so the process in which imaginary it's not actual suffix remember 
it's just imaginary suffix that's deleted you take a word you there is no suffix in fact but you imagine that this is a suffix and delete it and that becomes the process of back formation the examples are very few examples are there in english televise edit babysit accreditate and double gaze these clipping is the process in which suffixes are clipped clipped cut suffixes are cut you can also cut prefixes too to form the new words and this process is called clipping remember back formation is the process in which imaginary suffixes are removed clipping is the process in which actual suffixes are clipped there can be three types of clippings in english one we can cut from the left side right from the beginning second we can cut from the right side the uh, left side from the beginning right side at the end or we can cut from the beginning as well as from the end from the both sides so the clipping can be classified into three parts the first is clipping at the beginning of the word clipping at the beginning of the word if you clip the beginning of the word and derive a new word the process is called clipping and clipping at the beginning of the word for example you have a word phone today the word phone is clip of the word telephone because initial word is telephone you have we have clipped tele and kept phone that becomes telephone we have a word plane today we use the word plane but is plane actually a original word no the original word was airplane we have clipped air and kept plane so that becomes airplane even in case of bus we have we had air bus which became bus later on by the process of clipping now clipping the word from the end this was clipping from the beginning now let's see the clipping from the right side that is at the end of the word okay now you have a word photograph right photograph what do you do you call it photo today you call it photo why do you call it photo because you have clipped the graph graph is the right side that is at the end of the word so clipping from the end of the word we call we when we meet our friends we say congrats actual word is congratulations but we have clipped chelations and kept congrats only see exam this is a very common word that we we use exam but exam is actually the clipped form of examination examination okay or demo is a clipped form of demonstration demonstration is clipped so that becomes demo I'm, i'll give you a demo no actually it is i'll give you a demonstration but we have clipped demonstration and made it demo spectacles we call spectacles where are your specs so clip from the right instead of saying gentlemen we say gents we clip things right and there is another uh, process of clipping that is clipping from both the sides remove from the beginning remove from the end and keep the word that is in between and the best ex example is influenza the word influenza is clipped into flu only so we call this this is a flu tablet flu influenza is cut from both the sides so refrigerator the word refrigerator in today's world is called fridge only so re is clipped refrigerator is clipped so this is the process of clipping hope you have understood and you have also understood understood the difference between back formation and